I'm Donna and this is Some Bold Adventure. I'm a new motorcycle rider and I recently took the MSF course or Motorcycle Safety Foundation course to learn to ride and to get my uh, motorcycle endorsement. And what I want to do today is share with you a few things I learned taking the MSF course. These are not what skills you'll be taught or anything like that. You can find that online. Lots of people have videos from the course. These are things I didn't know going into it that is that I thought was useful information to help you understand what it's like and to know more about it before you go into it. start by saying not all of this is universal some things will change based on where you take the class and who your instructors are but hopefully you'll still find some good information in here I took the class at my local Harley Davidson dealership I've heard horror stories from people who took their courses from places that had terrible bikes to learn on where things didn't work right that was not my experience at Harley the bikes were great so here are five things I learned taking the MSF course. Number one was about the instructors. We had two coaches as they called them. And they uh, were both very long time riders. Which is great because when someone is a long time rider, they have seen all the ways that things can go wrong on a motorcycle. And I really felt the instructors I had were very committed to safety, to making sure we learned to be safe riders. And that seemed to be their whole goal out of the class, was that we would all learn to be safe. I had great instructors. Second thing I learned taking the course was about the students. We were almost evenly matched between men and women. There was actually one more woman in the class than there were men. And as far as ages, they were all ages. There were people in their 20s, there was a man in his 70s, and there were a couple of other women who were about my age. So there's a wide variety of people who take the course. And I also felt like everyone was really supportive. It was a great group of people. Third thing I learned about the MSF course was the classroom work. It seemed like nobody talked about the classroom work going into it. And I'm gonna say that in the end, that's because it turned out to not be a big deal. The instructors teach you things as you go. So we, you know, we do a few hours of classroom work and they would explain things to us. If they tell you something's important, write it down so you remember it. But for the most part, we learned the stuff without feeling like we were learning. There were some flashcards before the test where we went through some things. It ended up being very easy. The classroom portion and the written test were easy. So not much to worry about there anyway. Just pay attention to what they tell you. Fourth thing I learned taking the MSF course was about the skills that they teach you out on the range. The skills they teach you on the range are more difficult than what you will have to do during the test. Uh, there's a lot more turning and weaving and complicated patterns. The test I thought was far more basic. Well, it definitely was. I don't know if it varies by state, but the test was way more basic than with the skills they taught. But of course they want to teach you as much as possible. They had us ride over a two by four as part of the cl class. Which was great because um, I think if I uh, came across a 2x4 on the road, that would scare me. I mean, if you see an object in the road, just try and avoid it. But you don't want to kill yourself trying to avoid it. And it's good to know that if there's a 2x4 that you can't easily avoid, you can run over it to know that the bike is capable, to know that you're capable. There are a lot of the skills were good confidence builders. And I'm going to say all the skills you learn are important, but pay special attention to the heartbreaking and the swerving. 
because those are things that if you need them, you need to be able to do them without thinking. It just needs to be automatic. So make sure you master those really well. And the fifth thing I learned taking the MSF course was about the test itself. As I said, you st um, the skills you learn on the range are more difficult than what you will have to do for the test. So you might be going through this thinking, okay, I'm feeling more confident now, I'm getting the hang of these things. And you know, what you're gonna have to do then is easier than what you've been doing. But as soon as for me, when they said, okay, we're starting the evaluation, everything I knew just went away. I struggled with everything. I struggled even to pick my feet up, which I'd never had an issue with. So prepare yourself for that. If you're the kind of person who never gets nervous and just skates through calmly and easily, you're so lucky. <laughs> for the rest of us, take some deep breaths and also know that you do not have to be perfect. And I know some people will beat themselves up if they're not perfect, but you do not have to be. You are allowed to make mistakes. You get points for mistakes, and there's a range of points you can be within and still pass. I got points for going outside of a boundary during a U-turn, and I got points during one of the hard braking for taking too long to stop. For every so far over the line, you get some points. So I got points for both of those things, but was still well within the range to pass. So you don't have to be perfect. So don't let that get to you too much. Those are the five things I learned taking the MSF class. I said it may not be 100% universal, but hopefully it helps you. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more motorcycle videos and other adventures. Thanks for watching.